In early 2020, the COVID pandemic impacted the United States. And as the virus transitioned through the country, it found itself at the doorstep of James L. West in Fort Worth. The heightened sense of awareness led our organization to protect our residents, our healthcare workers, and the community at large. The UVC technology has been around for like 75 years in our water treatment plants, also in air conditioning. What it does, it changes the DNA of a COVID virus. It breaks it down so it can't reproduce. The chamber that has the UVC technology where you would implement it by putting it in your laptop, your keys, your glasses, a pen, anything that can fit in a small box. Secondly, we brought in the foot sanitizer. In a healthcare environment, 50% of healthcare acquired viruses are usually traipsed in off people's feet. We have a foot sanitizer at every entrance in this facility we implemented. Thirdly, we brought in a small tower that we can wheel into a small bathroom or a small room. The king machine of all is the UVD robot. It's an autonomous machine that runs after we mapped out the facility with its sensors, set disinfection points, and, and the, uh, the housekeeping staff can literally send it to a room and then run the robot autonomously without actually entering the room. These UV technologies uh, help us fight all viruses and bacteria, not just COVID. So nursing centers have historically had uh, flu outbreaks and um, C. diff and MARSA and these, these types of infections and the UV technology will help us battle those as well. So being the first is, um, is an honor. It's also uh, humbling. We are grateful to the CARES Act money and the City of Fort Worth for providing us that ability to have this suite of technology. Uh, when I saw the price of the robots, I was like, whoa, that, that's a lot of money. I don't know if we can get that approved or not. But um, I did my own research, and once I did that research, I realized how um, good those robots could be for a facility like this. I went directly to my boss, um, and she went to her director and said, hey, we need to make sure that we get this um, for their facility because this could really help with the population that they have. I'm so proud of James L. West and the hard work that they do. Fort Worth is committed to doing an age-friendly and a dementia-friendly home for everyone. To get those resources out, and nobody does that better than James L. West. Creative, innovative, they really add so much to the fabric of our community. And nonprofits like James L. West have been so hard hit during this pandemic. I'm pleased the city could step up with a grant to help them with innovation to keep their residents and their families who want to visit safe. Their creativity and innovation are bar none among the most aggressive and the best I've seen. So this technology, it really helps James L. West be the employer of choice. Uh, for our team as well as our residents and families bringing their loved ones into this setting uh, just because it, it helps us to give them the confidence that we're doing everything that we possibly can to make sure that they're safe uh, from any infectious diseases that may be transmitted or brought into the building.